After four years of waiting, Conell finally opened the doors of its brand new med center for women this morning. WFMI News News' Jalen Gilkey was there and has more. Well, Cone Health's brand new state of the art med center for women welcome its first patients today. Just minutes from Cone Health's main campus, this new facility is ready, ready to help make health care more accessible for women all across the triad. A Cone uh, Med Center for Women was started to fill a gap. We wanted to have comprehensive health services all in one building so that it can have ease and access and convenience so that all the services that a woman might need, she can get in one place. Walida Kareem Rhodes is the director of Cone's Med Center for Women. She's excited about what this new facility will mean for the health of women across the triad. I think the most important aspect is being able to provide high quality care and also address disparities in health care. Those other things that impact a woman's health like nutrition, transportation, housing, and how can we help provide wraparound services to address those. So how does this differ from Cone's Women's Hospital? The Med Center for Women is primarily an outpatient practice. So what it does, it, this is where the family and the women will go prior to delivering. So what's happening in this space is so essential and crucial to that last step because if you don't get the health, health of, the, of the family and the woman better while she's pregnant, then you can lead to um, negative outcomes in birth. Director Kareem Rhodes also has a special message for every woman out there. If um, you're definitely in need of services beginning from tweens all the way up through older life, this, this center is here for you. We have services that can support your behavior, health, nutrition, um, mental state, and we could all do it in one building and it can give you the convenience you need for the services that you desire. Well, if you have any questions, I will attach a link to Cone Health Med Center for Women's Web in my web story on WFMYNews2.com.